Hi guys, welcome to part two in that mini series of rabbit I promised you. Today we are going to concentrate on these, the shoulders. Like I showed you, we cut them a bit longer. Obviously there's not a lot of meat on them. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a lovely, I wouldn't say sudden fried. I don't want to mention that fella the colonel or his finger licking good recipe. I'm going to call it Worcestershire fried a rabbit. But what I'm going to do, obviously, because this shoulder does a lot of work, is I'm going to just parboil it for about half an hour to three quarters of an hour just to tenderise it a bit. You know, because if we was to try and cook those and fry them, they'd be tough. So all we're doing, basically, so simple, make up a little mirepoix, just a little bit of a core bouillon. So you've got your carrot, your onion. You know, I'm even going to leave the skin on. Get your onion in. These lovely shoulders of rabbit. Get those in. Remember, this is only like a poaching liquid, so you haven't got to be too fussy. I'm going to fill it up with water. You can see in there. Fill it up with water. Bay leaf bruise. A couple of peppercorns. This is going to be lovely. Obviously, I got my secret recipe of spices and herbs. And it's going to be fantastic. Get some meat under. So we bring it up to boil. And we'll simmer it for half hour just to get it on its way to tender. Obviously, you know, this always is the tricky part of the rabbit to cook. Everybody cooks the legs, the saddles, you know. Just wanted to make a recipe where you can use it all. So bring that up, we'll put a lid on it and we'll get back. Right then. That's just how I want it. I don't want too vigorous a boil, just a gentle roll. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn that down. And what we're gonna do is we're going to check on this in 20 minutes because basically we're not stewing it that's why you want it nice and gentle we're just tenderizing it to help it on its way let's have a look at these ticking over lovely get my hand in there a bit more give to that now i mean if you had smelly vision that smells amazing as it is just the water that onion bay leaf carrot celery that rabbit fantastic Give that 10 more minutes and then we'll take them out and we'll cool them. Okay, so these little beauties, they've been in an hour now. So I've just been checking them, you know, after half hour, every 10 minutes, they're nice and tender. Got some giving them now. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them on this tray and let them cool down. I want them cool, obviously, because we're gonna coat them and we're gonna fry them off. I mean, don't chuck that away, because basically what you've made there is a fantastic rabbit stock right there's my lovely shoulders yeah granted they don't look too good at the moment because they've just been lightly poached they're nice and cool so what I'm going to do something different into this bowl I'm going to pour some buttermilk this is something a bit different this adds a bit of sourness to them and I'm just going to put them in the buttermilk make sure they're all covered I've got another container of buttermilk in the fridge get them all covered I'm gonna leave them in there I mean you can leave them overnight you know or leave them for at least 12 hours I know it sounds elongated you haven't got to do this bit it's just a little flourish we should say I should top that up with the other buttermilk and then I shall wash them off we'll make up that rub and we'll get cooking them Right, let's get on with that coating for my Worcestershire fried rabbit. In that bowl, I have got 100 grams of plain flour, 50 grams of corn flour. I'm going to put in four tablespoons of this paprika, hot smoked paprika, and then a couple of teaspoons each of sage, thyme, oregano you know you haven't got to measure it completely some garlic salt if I can get it out a bit of garlic salt a couple of basil some chili powder crank it some pepper 
and some sea salt. Good, good. A few tablespoons of sea salt. Get that in there. I mean, you can riff on this. I'm going to add a bit more paprika. I'm going to add a bit more chilli because I like it hot. Give that a mix up. Get ready to coat our lovely rabbit shoulders then, ready for frying off. As you can see, my rabbit's been marinating that buttermilk. What I'm going to do is dip it into my mix. Fantastic. Get it all over. Tap off any excess. I'm just going to lay them on that tray then, ready for frying them off. And I've set my oven to gas mark six because I'll start frying these in some oil in the pan and transfer them to brown up and crisp up nice in the oven. I mean, it may seem long winded that bit with the buttermilk, but I think it really helps, you know, and take your time. It's a great way to use these shoulders up. So have a look at those, ready to go, all nicely coated. You can just dip off the excess. I'm just going to get my oil on now, warming through. Right, I'm not going to insult your intelligence. You know the drill here. I've only filled it up halfway. You know, hot oil on a gas flame. Recipe for disaster, but you know, just be careful. So I've got my lovely, lovely coated rabbit shoulders here. I'm going to do one at a time, obviously. They're quite big. The pan's not too big. I can keep an eye on it. Then I'll put them on my tray and keep them warm in the oven. So we'll get on and cook these. So, I haven't got the too much oil in the pan. I'm just going to do one half and then turn it over and do the other half. You know, we're just going to get that coating crispy. Obviously, we've poached that rabbit, so, you know, we're three quarters of the way there, tender. We're just going to crisp it up. So, I've just fried one off. So, take off the excess. Like I said, it's only half filled. Drop it in gently. I shall do the bottom half. You know, and if they're a bit bigger, turn it over, another two minutes to top half. Then we're going to put them in the oven, gas mark six, keep them warm. It'll also crisp it up and brown them up nicely. Mmm. Finger licking good. Just put that last one in. Right, that's the last one. As you can see, I've turned the oil off now. Get this out. They look fantastic. Not too thick a coating, so you still taste the rabbit. Right, we bang them in the oven. There they are. These have been in the oven. I left them 20 minutes. They're fantastic now. You can see they'll pull apart. So I'm just going to put them on this plate. Gorgeous. The smells of all those herbs and spices are fantastic. Just pile them up like that. And there you have it. My fantastic Worcestershire fried rabbit. The Leaning Tower of Bunny. Just rip a bit off. Lovely. Mmm. That poaching. And obviously then the frying, and that little woman threw in the oven, it's made that nice and tender. I mean you can always elongate that poaching bit, if you feel it's going to be a bit tough. But that, definitely nice, because it's too hot to pick up. I mean the idea of doing this obviously, there's not a lot of meat in them. So you get in, give it a good old gnaw. I'm just going to up a beer. Have another bite of rabbit. Mmm. Good way of using up the shoulders. Thanks for watching.